Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Conager Crimson Echoes. We just finished the three dudes wanna become knights quest. Now we're gonna move on to the A man in this era is lamenting the disappearance of his son who works for this facility quest. This era was of course referring to Chronopolis because he said it when we were in Chronopolis. So we're gonna head to Chronopolis. Fortunately, I really don't like I suppose it's necessary or something for the epoch to be there. But I don't like how we're forced to walk around in the future. We we don't have access to the epoch. It's kind of annoying. I suppose another reason though is because in the I'm trying to get outside. In the original game there was the Sunstone quest. Actually no, I've scratched that. I was gonna say the Sunstone quest. If we had the epoch we could have gone to where the Sunstone is and gotten it, potentially. But you know, scratch that because we're five years in the future. We got that five years ago. So we head to the chorus though and talk to this guy. Hey, you're those time travelers with Chronopolis, right? My son works there. He's agent nine. A few days ago, he was sent away to gather information somewhere, but he hasn't come back. They don't tell me much of Chronopolis, but I did some investigating, and I think he got lost in prehistory. How did you manage to figure that out? Uh, sure. We'll... We'll trust your investigating. The investigating of an old madman. Head to prehistoric times and see if we can find your son. There's nothing, uh... Nothing to worry about there. Swap Frog for Isla, because we need her. Go back and get the APOC again. Yes, please, Mr. Agent and head to prehistoric times. Okay, now we're in prehistoric times. When I was figuring out these side quests, to do this one I had to explore pretty much every area. But then when I was wandering around, I happened to it across this area. And I said to myself, I haven't been here before. This is where Agent Nine is. It is called the Forest Maze, quite mazy. Name kind of suits it. I'll get those item chests if I run into them, but they're pretty shitty. As you can see, they're just like feathers and tonics, so it's not too important. So I'm going to get lost for a while. I'll actually, uh, yeah, I'll put this one into speed up time from now on, from this point onwards. Okay, that didn't actually take uh, nearly as long as I thought it would. I'll probably forget to speed it up, but I don't think it even matters. Because it only took like 20 seconds. Remember, it took a lot longer first time. Oh, and he's talking. This is Sesha. Sesha and I work together, and as I was disguised as an Iconian man, Sesha was attacked by indigenous creatures, and I saved her. Like Steve Irwin, I suppose. And then we fell in love. But my data cube was lost in the scuffle. And though I know under Chronopolis Protocol X-22, my presence here is an anomaly, I don't want to leave her. And look is kind of saying to him, I'll get up the bloody ladder. It's in this forest. Sisha and I were trying to find it, but it's too dense. Reptiles know this area, but won't work with humans. Do we know any friendly reptites in this area? Era, even? Yes, we do. Idiot. That one whose uh, people we destroyed. For some reason he still talks to us. Treats us like friends or colleagues. Even though we subjected his people to a uh, fate worse than death. Oh, and there is one item you might want to pick up. It's the gold earring, even though it's kind of useless now because all our characters have basically max HP. Gold stud would be very useful now, but it's not a gold stud, it's a gold earring, the crappier version. So, we're going to head to find that one reptite who we know is a good guy and, you know, is totally not pretending to be a good guy just to backstab us in the future. He's actually not. So we want to head to the, whatever this place is called, Spring Mountain? Yeah, Spring Mountain. Us. Up the stairs, or ladder apparently, we're climbing up 
Oh, I suppose the latter. I've heard of this data cube. If you want to help, if you want the help of the reptiles, make the human leader promise to end all fighting. The fate of our people is already written. I just wish that they could live out their lives in peace. I understand. If reptiles not attack us, humans won't attack. I personally kill any human who break a rule. <laughs> She's Russian all of a sudden mid sentence. I actually wish she had been Russian the whole video, actually. Very fair. But there's something else. I want the story of the reptiles member. If this dead cube can store information like our own Zamilton data cube, then promise to record the reptiles histories in it. Good enough. Chronopolis wants to record history and take it to future. Good. Even if our story is a mere file in a laboratory, it's better than having it lost in the coming snow. French? All of a sudden French? I will talk to my... I will talk to my brothers and sisters and meet you at the forest. French all of a sudden, I've lost. Can't do a German accent all of a sudden. I, well, I couldn't do one to begin with, but. Completely lost it there. So, anyway, we'll head back to Agent 6. Might as well cut this bit out. Okay, we're back in the forest maze where Agent 6 is, uh. Agent 6 is. Not here? He, he moved. Why. Why would you move, Agent Six? You said we were going to meet us here. Why would you do that? Anyway, he's over here somewhere. If I can find him, I remember. I seem to remember his second position is nowhere near as hard to find. He's right there. Uh, okay, he's just right there, but don't seem to be able to get to him. Oh yeah, I just head down here and around here and talk to him now. Hello, Agent Nine. Oh, it's Agent Nine, not Agent Six. Sorry, I called you Agent Six. I mistook you with that other agent. You kind of all look the same. No, no, I don't mean, I don't mean it that way. I mean, oh, I really put my foot in my mouth. Anyway, it's enough playing around. Sisha, stand back. No needs for that. If you mean you no harm, your friends solicited our help in finding the death cube. German accent's kind of back. That's it. Now I can return to... No. I'm staying here with Sesha. Ala, you take it back to Bilthazar. I'll hide with her, and we'll make sure history isn't altered. Thank you for freeing me of my final Chronopolis duty. Receive the data cube. The moon looks for some data cube. Okay, now we have to go back to Bilthazar's. Many backwards and forwards things can't they just come and come the Belders are Chronopolis they go they book and walk around like chumps and they think we are with some kind of glorified delivery man or something. I mean why do we have to just travel around sending messages through space and time we're meant to be heroes of the universe with God fuck's sake, I mean what the hell is sending us around place Anyway, we head downstairs to where Balthazar is. I'm going to use the speed up function because it makes things go faster. This is Balthazar. Is that the day cube that Agent 9 had? It's been modified. Interesting. Yalak recorded reptile oral history and tales for our use. Fascinating. This is a treasure trove of information about the reptiles. I suppose you found Agent 9, then. Chronopolis one fell in love with good Lobobo one. Preferred to stay. Hide to avoid changing time. It's a terrible, terrible accent. Well, none of the agents have reported any timeline changes. Which means they ought to be able to come here just fine. I'd be happy to have a real prehistoric guest in Chronopolis with Sasha. I mean... Shut up, Balthazar. Leave him to talk to himself. He says he'd like to have a prehistoric woman. We, what, what do you call Isla? She's kind of prehistoric. She's kind of a woman. Was he just... Was he trying to infer something? He should go back and kick his ass. Balthazar's really become a prick recently. All this... Bringing back... Over... Um, 
bringing back magically powered megalomaniacs from death, and implying that Isla isn't a woman. I mean, Balthazar really shouldn't have bought you that leather jacket. You've changed, man. You've changed. Anyway, I can head back to Agent 9, tell him the good news. It's about to call him Agent 6 again. Made a promise that I would never make that mistake again. But anyway, he's over here. He's decided not to move around this time. So maybe, maybe it's a good idea to stay where they expect me to be. Bill. Belthazar said I can bring Sisha home to Chronopolis? Sisha, did you hear that? We can go home. Would you like to visit the future? Sasha, go on adventure. Ungo. Thanks, everyone. Please take this for your trouble. Yellick gifted us it to us earlier. Much thanks. This feels strong. It's an armor for Isla. It's a good armor. See? It's very strong. Now her defense is through the roof! Anyway. This is the f Oh no, we had one for Glenn. I was about to say, is this the first one we got? But no, we got one for Glenn. Um, yeah, that's enough for this part. Kind of... Maybe it should be fitting them into two videos, but... Whatever. I'll just let this go on a bit longer. Well, yeah, let the whole LP go on longer is what I mean. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that part. That was the a man in this area was lamented the disappearance of his works for the facility side quest. Actually, before I go, I'll talk to the man. Be right back. So we're back with the old dude now. Thank you, thank you. I saw my son in Chronopolis the other day, and what a looker he found in prehistory. So, what do we get from you then? We kind of saved your son. You're the one that asked us to do it. I mean, he gave us an item and an armor, and we were happy for it. He didn't actually give it to us. Yellick did. What are you giving us? You ungrateful prick. But anyway, if you go back to Chronopolis now, I think we, you know, it's before that Sargon was here, because he felt sorry for us and blah blah blah. But Agent 9 and Sasha are here. They live in a corridor. Well done, guys. You left the jungle for a corridor. You've really, really moved up in life. But anyway, that was part, whatever, of Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. It's a side quest. Saved some dude's son. He didn't even give us anything. What a prick. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this part. I'll have more up soon. See you guys later. Bye. I've got to hit the fake work now. <laughs>